sweet merciful law, a marauder's in my domicile. Oh my god, dude, he he reacted to the fact that I have my unif my outfit on. That is so freaking awesome, dude. What's going on guys back at it again with another Outer Worlds video. So in the last video we ended up making some hard hard decisions and we actually ended up pretty much siding with Edgewater. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know what the consequences is for that and I don't know what the consequences is for the whole story in general. But I mean I guess we're gonna end up finding out uh, soon probably but... Before we end up going and progressing with the story, I kind of want to explore a little and do the missions uh, that we've already encountered before. Like, for example, the one with uh, that Max individual who sent us to go get a book. So, before I go ahead and do that, do me a huge favor and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really, really does help. So, with that being said, let's get to it. Alright, so first things first, uh, what was the companion quest? Yeah, okay, so this is this is it right here. Oh, companion qu Wait a minute, so th does that mean I could get Max as a... I think I could get Max as a companion. I mean, he's pretty bland, and I didn't really like him too much, but if I can have another companion with me, that would be amazing. So we're definitely going to be doing this one right now. Uh, I think it's active now, so let's see. Where is it telling us to go? Okay, so it's telling us to go to the botanical labs. Oh, crap. So, this should be pretty interesting because the Botanical Labs is where the people who I just screwed over live. Should be interesting. Oh, no, wait. Is this still the... I think this is still the main story. Um, okay, I want this one. There we go. That's the one I want. I don't want to go do that. Yeah, okay, so perfect. Now, I should be able to go back away slowly. <laughs> I'm not trying to get into that right now. Plus, I don't think I have enough ammunition and everything. Plus, I only have one companion. I think if I'm correct in this assessment, I think you can actually get two companions at any given point. That's not it, is it? No, this isn't where I'm supposed to go. Okay, but regardless, let's go ahead and go around and go get this book. God, guys, look at how beautiful this looks, man. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big fan of the moon. I think the moon is seriously beautiful. And this... Ver man, I... J oh, crap. Oh! Oh, I thought I killed him. Ah, ah, ah. Let's go ahead and heal. Get over here, buddy. We did it. <laughs> Those screams are amazing. All right, but anyways, all right, let's go ahead and get all of this stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of the moon. So seeing it right here, it looks it looks beautiful, man. I love it. But it actually appears like we're actually here. And there's also more vandals. Go. Dude, he just got a hammer to the spine. Okay, that guy's dead. Oh, I thought this guy was dead. What number was... Alright. I almost forgot what number was... Uh, Oh, God. Run! And... Oh, dude, that guy's armor looks badass. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ah! Can I get that guy's armor? Oh, man. Alright, let's go back with my pistol. Oh, no, I forgot. I have it on two. Alright, let's see. Let's get this book for Mr. Dude Man. What is this? Uh, messages. Looks like this is just lore. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's 
There it is. Is this it? I just got the letter today. Corporate ordered me to relocate to Edgewater Cannery effective immediately. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to running, uh, running my own gift shop at the community center. Selling rare memorabilia. But scripture tells us that all things happen for a reason. Work four to five... Wait a minute. So... He never wanted to be in the church, if you will. He wanted to be selling rare memorabilia pretty much and then they the company itself edge uh the corporate wow that's crazy they ordered him to basically change his profession wait can i take it so what's the mission retrieve the journal where's the journal oh it looks like oh crap looks like it's kind of far cave entrance well that's nice Man, Edge, I mean, not Edgewater, but this planet looks sick. What is this, Terra 1 or something? Oh, wait, there's somebody right there. Yeah, we'll do it. Looks like there's three. Oh, he's dead. I think he's dead. And... Thanks to her, he's dead. Very nice. So, I've pretty much been specking like nonstop into weapons or whatever ranged and uh, the companions one. Ultimately, what I plan on doing when it comes to that is uh, basically spec weapons up to about 50. And then from there, I'm going to start specking into dialogue because I really do want to unlock some dialogue trees. So far, we've been getting some good information and getting out of some sticky situations by lying and doing stuff like that. Wait a minute, are we back here? Oh, wait, it's because I passed it. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's in this cave. Got it tracking. This is where we cleared some, uh, some of those little dinosaur things. I don't even know what they're called. This should be interesting to say the least. Um, I don't know why I get the feeling like something big is going to be here. Ah! I thought it was a bomb, dude. It sounded like one. So I have to pick. All right. Uh, criminal activity, trespassing, locking, uh, considered illegal. Oh, crap. Well, I got what I came for. So does that mean, does that mean I get to have him as a companion now? Because if that's the case, hell yeah. I wonder what kind of weapon he has. For some reason, I feel like he would be like, like a blade or a melee type individual. Have you guys been playing this game? If so... What are you guys' opinions on this game? I know it's getting rave reviews right now. Uh, I think mainly has to do... Well, it is a good game. It don't, I don't want to downplay it whatsoever. But I think a lot of the positivity is coming from the disasters that Fallout 76 is going through. Or Bethesda in general is going through. Alright. Those armors look pretty good. All right, let's go get our companion. You know who I really want is that Ellie chick, man. I've been wanting her since... That sounds weird. But I've been wanting to get her as a companion ever since uh, we saw the trailer where you get to choose to kill someone or not kill him or something like that. There he is. It's a fine new day in Edgewater. The cannery hums, streetlights and faces glow. I suppose this means the two of you were able to sort out the matter? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it seemed the better choice. I'm not sure I made this right decision. I just did it. Uh, okay, yeah. The greater good can be difficult to determine. Oh, absolutely. None of us can know the effects of our decision in a year, or ten, or a hundred. 
Take comfort in the fact that your choices are always, ultimately, in line with the grand plan. Uh, well, I mean, that's cool, but I got your book for you. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this <laughs> French? I can't fucking read French. <laughs> it's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan while fighting it at every turn. Wait, so does that mean he's quitting? You uh you didn't want the you didn't want the book to keep others from reading it? You just wanted it for yourself? Well, uh yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. Right. I've spent my <laughs> life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. Oh, he did it to himself. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Uh, at least you still have your mission. Work here. Uh... Okay, yeah, at least you still have your mission. Uh, work here to give you uh, your life uh, meaningful purpose. Man, I can't read right now. Please. As if my life should have no greater meaning than proselytizing to a bunch of feeble-minded wretches. Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aetherwave program. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. Yeah! Your ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Absolutely! Uh, could it be a benef uh, beneficial arrangement? Do you need a ride out of town? I wouldn't mind a ship hand. Certainly. I already gave you most of my money, but I can offer you free spiritual counseling, and I'd be happy to watch your back. I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Ooh. Oh. I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. You know what? This guy actually seems pretty. He seems like a, like he's like he would be very useful. Kind of like Kate, she, like in Fallout Four, she would be able to pick locks or uh, Valentine can hack a computer. I think that's who he is in this game. Uh, <laughs> that's so fucked up. Let's see. Uh, are you... sounds good. Let's go. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order, and I'll catch up with you. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery, and to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Can I bring I you with you me? on the ship when you're ready to depart from Emerald Vale, Captain. Aw, oh, man. I thought I thought I thought he was gonna be a companion that would follow me. I guess not, or maybe he'll follow me after. I don't know. But let's go ahead and see what other missions we have going on. So we already did that one. A uh, small grave matter. Oh yeah, this is the one from the very beginning. One of our first uh, missions. Let's go do. Let's go ahead and do this one really quick. Where does it send us to though? Oh crap! Looks like everything is in here. For the most part. So this one that I'm going to... Okay, yeah, that's that's in here. Sounds great. Hello? Wait. Uh... I'm assuming it's in here. Yeah, dude's right up there. How do I get up there? Over there. Hey, corporate trooper. Okay, I thought he was going to like stop me from going through. I was about to say, nah, bruh. I need someone to talk to. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Tenderfoot? You better chill out, girl. Uh, I'm guessing you're the foreman. Foreman Granger. Mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. So, are you related to Hermione Granger? 
That's my question. Like a sister or something? Nope. All right. So grab a gra grab gravesite fees, man. I don't know what is wrong with me. <laughs> gravesite fees. I'm here to collect. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Um. Well, you didn't give me any trouble, so you're good. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. Uh, that's kind of you, I guess. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't <laughs> acting out of the goodness of my heart. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative. Damn, that's messed up. Me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Uh, you said this guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Just the two of us. We could make it if we try. Okay, anyways. Uh, that's an awful story. Uh, must be tough losing family. Eugene wasn't family. Well, all right then. <laughs> I thought you said you were the closest living relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the fines. Oh my god, that's even worse. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. That has got to be the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Well, I, I, you know what? I'm starting to regret the fact that I sided with Edgewater. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess we're going to find out what the, what the, cir the circumstances behind her decisions is. Uh, you can't be serious. I'm plenty serious. In fact, I'm a little upset Eugene didn't think things through. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. He was a person, not an asset. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his atoms be commended to the law. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. I really don't like these corporations, man. All right. Let's go. I mean, if it's pretty... All this literally pretty much led them to suicide, dude. I feel bad. For the guy. But ultimately, he did it to himself, I suppose. All right, so the next guy is literally straight across. Actually, we can probably... This is an exit, I believe. So if we go here and then here and then probably just leave. So let's go to the first guy. If I could find an entrance, that is. Oh, found it. Yes, Mr. Thompson. Uh, I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet merciful law. A marauder's in my domicile. Oh my god, dude, he He reacted to the fact that I have my unif my outfit on. That is so freaking awesome, dude. Oh my god. Hey, take it easy. I'm not a marauder. The reason you're running around outfitted like one of those monsters? Oh my Mr. god. Thompson, you to put the fear in me? Oh. Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Okay, uh, like, okay, I already loved this game before this event. But the fact that this dude reacted to the fact that I'm wearing a Marauder, a Marauder outfit, just escalated my, my love for this game. This game is awesome. Uh, take it easy, Mr. Tom Tom Thompson didn't send me. And what are you doing? I should have used perception. Visiting? Well, let me give you the grand tour. This here's my domicile, and there's the door. Uh, I'm positive. You mentioned something about being plagued? You don't know that. 
I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said vague. You know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. Wait, no. Oh, damn it. Well, okay, he's listen. definitely going to get incriminate Maybe himself. I'm feeling a little under the weather, but I swear I'm on the mend. Please don't tell the constable. You know, you look more than sick. Look around his eyes, dude. He literally looks like he's on drugs. Uh, you got the play. Get away from me, you leper. <laughs> no. Uh, please don't tell the constable. Okay, yeah. You should put a sign over your door or something. Or at least cover your mouth. And become the town pariah? I'm already the oldest worker in town. I don't need to give him another reason to avoid me. Hey, you're hale and healthy and possibly for hire, ain't ya? Ooh, I got a mission. Do a good turn for an expiring old man? Yeah, of course, dude. How can I help? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Yeah, of course. I'll do it. For sure. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Oh, God. Uh, so I'm here to collect your gravesite fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Look, I got my gravesite fees right here. See? I'm good for my word. Awesome sauce. Give me that medicine, and I'll see your payment. I got you, I got you. You're taking an awful risk uh, trusting me, you know. I know that, but I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. Uh, yeah, he kind of sort of works for me now, too, by the way. But I'll let you be. Have a good day, sir. Uh, I'll get you the medicine as soon as possible. Deuces. Mr. Abernathy. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. What? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. You stalker. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Why wouldn't I, dude? Abernathy the dude's sick. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Why would I sell it to you? He's got symptoms of something. You're saying uh, it's psych psychosomatic? All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh, he's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. Oh, dude, go get away from me. What? Yeah, what do you need it for anyways? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Let me worry about that. How about that? All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Okay, so man, this game makes some makes you. This game really makes you choose some hard decisions, man. This is one of those situations where you either help one man, or a lot of people, but sacrifice that one man. <sighs> I get it. You need someone to smuggle medicine under the table. Is she a doctor? Let me see. Something like that. Look, I'm not in the habit of law breaking, but sometimes you've got to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree that. I, I agree to that. Sometimes you do have to break the law, essentially, to do something right. Uh, I mean, that's what we did all throughout our country, you know, or through our history. You know, like the Civil War was basically a protest. Or not a civil war. The Revolutionary War is pretty much a protest to England. But that... Uh, I don't feel right about this. I'll I'll think about it. We'll That's see what's up. That's all I can ask of you. I don't know. Those types of situations are really hard, man. Because it's like... Either you give her... And she'll potentially save a lot of people. Or you give it to him. And he basically is better himself. Plus, I don't really like the way she came at me. She said, you're making a mistake helping him. I cut my own hair. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant. 
Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? Look at that. I don't want you wandering into my shop wearing something you've lifted off a corpse. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Well, I mean, it started off right, and then it ended up terribly. <laughs> like, <whoa. laughs> relax, relax, I'm clean. Uh, no, I'm not going to intimidate the dude. Relax, I'm clean. Do your haircuts usually come? Yeah. So everyone says, until someone forgets to cough into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Okay, then. Uh, prepare my remains for what? Burial. In the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. That is so fucked up. <laughs> I mean, that's cool, but... The businesses are so backwards in this world, man. It's pretty It's pretty sickening in a fun and humorous way. Uh, speaking of burial, Sila sent me to collect your fees. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. Uh, yeah, I was say, you're pretty much saying that you're broke, right? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. Well, this should be interesting. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Ah, oh, man. This is, this is tough. You have a very loose definition of the word prosperity... Uh, this is quite some, yeah, this is quite some drama, Conrad. You should audition? Sure. Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. I mean, yeah, medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Damn, just give him an IOU. <laughs> Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No. That won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. I wonder if I can give him something. I will let you know if I think of something. I'm pretty sure I can find something to give Much him. Much obliged. Hopefully I find it before before anything. Alright, so there should be one more, right? Uh, let me see. Journal. Ludwig's. Uh, he's stationed as a guard at the landing pad southeast of Edgewater. This one's going to be tough. Okay, so... Let's go find Ludwig. And get his stuff. Oh no, that's Silas. So Ludwig should be on the opposite side. It looks like he's over here. Nope, go around. Doesn't look like he's too far, so that's a good that's a good thing. Also, we know that he's a guard, so we need to look for a uniform. Really quick, I don't want this uniform because everybody keeps freaking out. Uh Well, this gives me tech skills. Let me take off that helmet. No, no, put that helmet back on. <laughs> My dude is ugly. Uh, looks like they're going to be still looking at me as a vigilante, or not a vigilante, a criminal. When I was little, we... Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. 
You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Uh, you're confusing me with somebody else. Um, or, uh, so you owe him his gravesite fees. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. What? What are you talking about? The war. The coming apocalypse. Man versus machine. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Uh, yeah, gotta watch out for those mechanicals. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cali and Ben? beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? You know what? I wonder if he gives me a uniform. If your resistance needs another gun, I'm for hire. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spaces chaw. Few bit carts. I'll reward you for your aid. Proper armies pay enlistment fees. Enlistment fees? Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. This dude legit <laughs> is a not official soldier. Uh, what do you need done? They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Ooh, I like this mission. If I'm going after this mechanical scout, I uh, could use a couple pointers. Sure. Mechanical's got a weak spot in their midsection. Yes, that's I what I need. The technical term is um, the blue glowy square thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Uh, I got a question for you. Go on. What exactly do you do here? I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Unofficially? Strictly between you and me. I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. Okay, okay. Looks like Go there's on. one more thing I can ask him. What do you have against mechanicals? You ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Nope. Just looking at you. Scanning you with its murderous oculars. <laughs> He's freaking crazy. I'm pretty sure that's what they're programmed to do. Mechanicals have been programmed to eliminate the human race. They've been programmed to replace us. First, they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our livelihoods, they will take away our very lives. Got it. Tracking. Thank you. I'll let you be. So, I can't... I have to go do that mission for him first. Side quest, die robot. That's this one. What's this one right here? And then this one is... Doesn't know where's... Oh, yeah. I forgot that. Oh, that one's... I think this one might be botched because I sided with... Oh, that's going to be bad. All right, we'll do, we'll do the sickness one first. Wait, hold on. Does. Retrieve the power regulator. Okay. That's the main quest to convince the deserters. Wait, what, what's up with this one anyways? Now that their power is off, you should have an easier time convincing deserters to come back. All right. Well, the good thing is that that one is pretty much complete. I just have to go over there and essentially tell them, hey, by the way, if you stay here, you're fucked and you're going to die. You might as well go back to Edgewater and go back to work like 
a normal human being. Well, I say normal sparingly because obviously the way these companies run their operations is far from normal in our world through our perspectives. But it's very interesting the way they're pulling it off uh, storytelling wise. And it's also pretty cool that I pretty much have unlimited sprint. How much ammo do I have of... Damn, I need... I really need some heavy ammo. So I can actually shoot my rifle. Oh! Oh, I... I thought he was going to be cool with me. Ah! Let's go. I'm a Jedi. Goodbye. Ah! Uh-oh. Let's go around. Come on, bruh. Very nice. Thug nasty status. So let me go loot these guys first before I go on. So this is all stuff I already have pretty much. But I could definitely use everything else like the ammo for example. Seeing as I'm always getting into stuff. Uh oh. Go. Oh god. Uh, companion perks. Your companion has leveled up. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know she could level up too. Nice one. I'll do that after this firefight. You better leave her alone. Alright. Let's go. Downside. Come here, bro. Very nice. Even I leveled up. We're all leveling up here. You get a level, and you get a level, and you get a level. Let me go ahead and loot this stuff. Ooh, I got a different kind of blade. Let's go back to my pistol as well. Alright, so let's find out how or what's going on with her leveling. There we go. Level. Healthy. Uh, increases companion's maximum health. That can definitely be coming ha uh, come in handy. Increases the amount of threat this companion generates when attacking enemies. So that's... I'm assuming that makes her... Like the enemies focus on her more. And this is... I want her more aggressive. Yeah, uh, I think first things first though, I think I need to get her more health. Well, no, because I don't really need, I haven't had a problems with her health yet, so I'm gonna do this one. Oh, she's got multiple levels? Uh, ranged weapons, that can come in handy too. Armor rating. Okay, so that's literally all I got. So that's that's that. Character I also leveled up. So I am trying to get this to level 50. Cool. Oh, we're almost there too. Once I get to level 50, then I'm gonna start literally uh specking into Dialogue. Oh God. That's not good. All right, go. Here I go. This is gonna be difficult. Oh God, I didn't even see this dude. Oh no. 
Oh man, this is gonna be difficult. How do I wanna do this? Alright, go ahead and do that again. I'll let her focus on that dude. I need to keep moving. Nice one. Come on, heavy ammo. Oh. Come on. No. That was a waste of tactical time dilation. Is she down? Maybe health was the more ideal thing to do. Go! Ah! Oh my god, that was so freaking close. Woo! I mean, we got it done though. Let's go ahead and do some looting. Let me reload all my guns so at least they have something. Awesome. What do you got for me, bro? Damn, there's a lot of uh, heavy ammo around here. First aid room key. Oh yeah, that's actually what I was looking for, huh? Where's the room though? That's what I'm trying to figure out now. That looks scary. Come back soon. Oh, okay, it's in here. Oh, it's barred. So I gotta find a way to go around. It's okay though, because I'm enjoying the fact that I get to loot. Oh, crap. Looks like there's two in there. All right, doesn't look like we got a choice. You take care of him. I got this guy. Very nice. No, come back here. That's the last of them. Woo! That one was legitimately close. Hope there's nobody else. But I that. I doubt that's gonna be the case. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot of people here. I don't know why I did that. No, that's to leave. I'm not trying to leave here. Is this it? There it is. Now we got a another plasma cutter. Is that a melee weapon? Where is it? So 133 versus 51. Man, this one is so much stronger. So this is a different kind of assault rifle, huh? 30... 24 this also has a stagger effect this has a stagger effect 18 damage 28 damage this one's stronger let's see here i think we're good i haven't picked up any more ammo or uh, armor huh i want to keep this just because and I'm going to keep one of these two. So let's go ahead and break this down. Break that down. 
We'll break that down. That and that. That way we at least have one of each. And then we'll I'll keep one of those as well. The condition is still at 100% for that. Oh, this one's the one that I was using the whole time. How much is the condition for this one? 16%. So this one's a lot better. Awesome. I think we're good. Wait, what about her stuff? Does her stuff condition go down? It doesn't look like it goes down at all. Maybe if I find a cool, unique weapon, I'll probably just give it to my companions. I think since they're going to be carrying me, I think that's going to be the optimal uh, thing to do. So her thing does 120 DPS. Yeah, hers is the best. What's in here? Oh, awesome sauce. Is that a is that a weapon? No. Journal. You found the hair, okay. Crap, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. It's literally between the old man and the chick. Alright. So let's go ahead and go back to Edgewater. Find out what the hell we're going to do, man. I... I don't... I think I'm just going to... Oh, crap. Um, I mean, either way, I got the fees. So I'm not worried about botching the other one. The other quest. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. So, I think in this situation, I think it's going to benefit more as a society to give it to the girl, around. even though it's illegal. Let the boss catch you saying that. But she is pretty freaking shady. I mean, look at her. She's in a freaking alleyway. Uh, decisions, decisions. I am going to... Ah, uh, fuck. I'm just going to give it to her. I've got some time. Yeah, I'm just gonna give it to her. I'm already here. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Here. Something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Good. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. Yeah, okay. Oh, never? That's harsh. At least uh, leave me something to remember you by. Can I? Okay, this is 100% out of curiosity. You do have some cheek on you. Lucky for you, I kept a little contingency fee in case you tried to negotiate with me. Yeah, I'm curious. Who are you going to give that uh, medicine to? Somebody deserving. Silas, on account of him being out in the cold... Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? Well, I mean, I guess it was... Ne I, I, I think we made the right decision. Even though she's kind of an asshole. Alright. I want to see what she thinks about it. Something you need? I guess she won't tell me. So let's go back into the journal and see. Let's see. S small matter. What's this one? Okay, yeah. Uh, we just have to collect his, but I don't know how I'm going to be able to solve that one right now. So let's go do this robot one. Let's see. Okay. So it looks like it's literally right outside Edgewater. Unless that's just telling me to, to go to the exit.
All right, let's see now. No, yeah, still telling me the same thing. So let's go ahead and go around. And find out where this robot is. This looks beautiful. I really love what they did with this game. They did an excellent job creating this world. And frankly speaking, this is just the entry world. Because I think we're still in the very beginning of the game. I mean, hell, we haven't even gotten our spaceship to fly away yet. But I want to do all, a bunch of side quests before we leave this planet. Even though there's probably going to be a way to come back here later. I'm not sure I want to leave here until... I, uh... Do all the side quests. Ah, oh, he ain't no threat. But I can fix him up smart. Let me talk. I can talk to him. Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. Hang on a second. I'm not entirely sure. Take your time. You need help? Just give a yell. A, a metaphorical yell. If you yell for reals, you're liable to spook them. Let me see. I wonder if I fix him, if I can take him on my ship. Go ahead and fix him up. Fuck yep, it. I see the problem. His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Well, new by Spacer's Choice standards, anyhow. Very nice. His name's Jeremy, by the way. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. Whoa, hey, don't you owe me something for the repairs? Uh, I don't reckon Jeremy understands the concept of trade. <laughs> Spacer's Choice reminds all colonists that serving the Spacer's Choice family is the highest possible reward. Of course. I have been programmed to deliver this pre-approved message. Oh, what? Uh, I guess I'll be going be now. Be more careful out there, Jeremy. Self-diagnostic. I can't take him with me. Please do not disturb. Shut up. So, is this quest completed? Okay. Well, now that we know he's not a threat, let's go talk to Ludwig or Ludwig or whatever his name is. He's probably going to be upset because he wanted me to kill the robot. But this way, the good thing is that we didn't have to waste our ammo and we might have a positive ending. Plus, Ludwig, I think, is pretty crazy. I mean, come on now. He thinks robots are out to get him. Which, I mean, it's a possible. It's possible, but it doesn't seem like that's the case right now. Hey, come here. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. Uh, okay. You won't have to worry about that scout anymore. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its head case? Uh, something like that. Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. Oh, cool. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. Cantina. Lavatory. Behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. Okay. You hid your secret weapon in a lavatory? Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. <laughs> I just thought about that. I wonder if it's going to be a On unique double, weapon. Soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Thank you. Oh, man, I'm kind of excited, man. I hope this is a unique weapon I get to get. I know there's unique weapons. I just don't know where they're at. Let's see here. Ludwig's bundle. You so we got to get into this building. 
Oh, I hope it's a I hope it's a unique You're not weapon. A big drinker, are you? Not at all. That's disgusting. How do I get it? Okay, there we go. We can have another zero G. So now I go back to Ludwig. Been running Let's go around the back way that we came from. That way we don't have to go all the way around. See, I want that outfit, man. That looks pretty sick. Let's go. Hey, come back here, Ludwig. I got something for you. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Never seen the veil lit up like this before. Well, that's, you just said that about two minutes ago. I found that package you mentioned. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the hand of the law. I got discharged right now. <laughs> flailing around like a grounded fish. You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. Ooh, yeah, sounds like fun. How do I use this injury customizing unit exactly? There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Dude, that's badass. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. Uh, don't worry about that. I've already got the passcode from Reed. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related <laughs> to security. Well, maybe do a I better job. to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. Uh, seems simple enough. Wait, how am I supposed to get one of these logic modules? There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're going to have to find an intact model somehow. Uh, uh Parvati is a logic... Is it... Oh, I can ask her? I can talk to her. Parvati, is the logic module something you could help with? I don't reckon so. Damn. I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and mechanical brains are outside my ken. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes. Calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. You keep a careful eye on her. Could be a sympathizer. What are you planning? Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact. A real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are going to rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. Um, Edgewater's in the middle of nowhere. You don't have a contact. Well, excuse me. What I meant was I'm going to get a contact. <laughs> I didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. Well, I mean, those are two completely different things. Either you have a contact or you don't. And he doesn't clearly have a contact right now. But okay, why not? Uh, seems simple enough. If you die horribly... I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Uh, okay. You have a good day, sir. So. I want to put. Let's see. To repair, upgrade, modify weapons. So this thing that I have. So this has 100%. Let's go ahead and. Check this out. E install mod. Can I uninstall mods though? That's my question. Tinker. Oh, this is hers.
Oh, I can actually make her stuff stronger. All right, you know what? I'm going to give the mod to her. Oh, I can't. I can't do it. So it looks like it's just a weapon type thing. So let's attach it to this, I suppose. Man, I really hope I can uninstall. Mods can't be recovered after installation, then no. I'm gonna wait to get this, to install this on a unique weapon. Get out of my way! Something you need? Yes, I need you to get out of the way. You mentioned something earlier that I wanted to ask you about. In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? Yeah, pretty much. You sounded worried. Sorry. I know it's none of my business. Uh, I like to drink every now and then. It's not like I think it a failing, mind. It's just I... I live right across the road. Most nights I watch folks out my window. When they come in here, they might be happy or sad. Mostly they're tired. When they leave, they're mad at themselves. Or they stumble into the alley and I listen to their hearts breaking. Yes, yeah, because alcohol is a depressant. That's why you shouldn't drink very heavily. I can't abide someone who can't handle their liquor. Nah, I don't... I mean, those people are really people who need help. Uh, are you safe living across this place? Sounds like folk here live Maybe hard so. lives. But we don't think on it that way. Well, all right then. There we go. Made it out. All right, let's see how far we got to go. Oh, it's to the geothermal plant again. What are we supposed to get again? Uh, has been taken over by, uh, okay, Lud wants you to infiltrate the plant and retrieve the logic module from one of those auto mechanics here. All right, we're going to go ahead and complete this mission, and then we're going to call it an episode, because this one's actually, this video is actually, uh, already in, I've been recording for over an hour already, Now I want to get started on another video, or another episode, I guess you could say, so, that way, we can have multiple episodes instead of just one very very long one which people probably won't even finish all the way through because hour long videos is already long enough having multiple hour videos is one of those like most people won't even finish you know what i mean so we're gonna finish this mission and call it an episode and then we'll get started on another one that way we can uh, have a little bit more variety the good thing is that I mean, I don't know how it works specifically, but I hope they don't reach. Holy shit. Oh my god, they scared the hell out of me. Oh my god, that big guy is throwing rocks at me. Get away from me. Oh my god, I got one of them. Get away from me! Oh, I was hoping I could get up there. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm gonna die. Ah! Did he just go underground? This gun is really good. Run away! The good thing is that they're kind of slow. Ow. Oh, they got me. Let's avoid pissing off those monkeys again. Run away, run away before they see us. Let's get our pistol too. Wait. So the good thing, it doesn't look like the, Watch out. crap, not this again. I'm just running for it. Run. I don't want to waste my ammo. Run away. They're literally throwing rocks at me right now. Well, we're about to find out if these things respawn. All right, cool. They stopped chasing me too. Very nice. 
It doesn't look like they do. Yeah, we're good. How do I get in there, though? Oh, crap. I don't know if I can get it. There's got to be another way in, right? Let me see. Is there a map in here? No, nah, dude. This is the only way. Hold on. Let me stand in front of it to make sure I'm in the right spot. Yeah, okay. So how do I get in there? I think I have to find a key. Self-diagnostics complete. Navigation oh. systems operational. It's Combat Jeremy. systems operational. It's not the best choice. It's the spacer's choice. Uh... You made it out of that junkyard. All systems fully operational. Return journey successfully completed. Spacer's Choice would like to thank you for complying with your duties. That's awesome. Why aren't you attacking me? Hostile actions towards Spacer's Choice mechanics are contrary to logical directive. Conclusion, all hostile auto mechanicals must be Defective in compliance with Spacer's Choice policy. All defective auto mechanicals must be permanently dismantled. Please allow me to assist. Can you open that door for me? Let me get this straight. You want to help me destroy other mechanicals? Affirmative. Mechanicide protocols loaded. Awaiting confirmation. Is he a companion? I like the sound of that. <laughs> All right then. Hold on. Uh Okay. No, give me the other one. Okay, there's nothing there. Can you help me get into that room? What's eating you? Any if oh there we go. Any idea how I can find a logic module? Funny thing. I was working on a logic module just before the mayhem started. Security chief found me and confiscated the logic module. Uh that that wasn't that wasn't the healthy. tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Uh, what happened Mechanicals to this place? lost their bolts. Open fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. That's horrible. You mean why did the mechanicals go on a murderous rampage? Same reason any of us do, I suppose. The voices told them to do it. <laughs> I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. All right, bye. All right, guys. So it took me a long time to fight th to find this freaking key, man. But I got it now, so there's that. Looks like there's a, ma some, a machine gun, too. You know what? I think I want to give it to her. Where's the machine gun? There you go. You don't need a pistol anyways. Is it, is it at 100? Yes, it is. Very nice. So now that we got the key, we should be able to get inside that office now. Hey, look, it's Jeremy. I wish I could take him with me. That'd be badass. Woohoo! Finally! Logic module. Look at all this stuff. Tactical shotgun. Fuck yeah, dude. Alright, so... Now that we got all this stuff, we're just gonna basically edit our way to Ludwig. See you guys in a second. All right, guys, so we're pretty much here. Uh, let's see what basically happens once we give him the logic module. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. Yeah, you, you've said that meant multiple times. I found one of the geothermal plants. up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, 
That reminds me. Gotta look into getting us a uniform. So this is it, then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical hordes. Very I nice. I want to reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. Yeah, that would so be nice. a couple bits for your trouble. And a little something to remember me by. Uh, thank you. Take care. What did, what did he give me? Did he give me something? Oh my God. One thirty three, one thirty one. So damage fifty three, sixty two. That one's better though. But the let me see. Power attack twenty percent. Special. This does special effect burn. Does this have a special effect? This one stuns. I think I do like stun better though. Hell yeah. Does this have a name? The shock stick. Hell yeah, dude. Got our first legendary weapon or unique weapon, I believe. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. This one was actually pretty freaking fun, man. I'm not going to lie to you, man. And we got our first unique weapon, which is what I'm what I have here in front of us right now. It's the shock stick. And it sounds pretty sick. But with that being said, if this is a series you guys are liking, definitely do me a huge favor. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Deuces.